What's up guys, it's Mikey and today I'm doing a review of the ASUS G751JM ROG gaming laptop. Uh, this is my personal laptop so I figured I'd do a review on it and I use it every single day. Uh, I do all my editing on it, do all my gaming on it, so let's do a review on it. All right, let's jump in with uh, the design of the laptop. And you can see it looks really cool. And it's got this nice aluminum on the front here. And this logo, Republic of Gamers logo, lights up on there. Um, it's a nice matte on the, the whole finish. It is quite a fingerprint magnet though. You can see my hand was right there and you can probably already see that. And you can see, I'm not sure if you can see all the fingerprints all around it, but. Uh, nothing on the front, it's just some lights on the front. On the left side, we got the SD card reader, a DVD drive, a dual layer burner, it's not, no Blu-ray or anything like that. Uh, two USB ports and the lock there. On the back, it's got the dual exhaust, two fans in there. On the right side, it has the AC adapter plug, the VGA plug. Uh, gigabit Ethernet plug, your HDMI plug, it's got a uh, Thunderbolt plug, so that's awesome. And uh, two more USB ports, um, two 3.5 millimeters, and a headphone jack. Now, onto the specs it has 12 gigs of DDR3L RAM, um, it has a 4710HQ. Intel i7 quad core, two and a half gigahertz, and it turbo boosts to three and a half gigahertz. It comes with Windows 8.1, and uh, it's running Windows 10 right now. Uh, it has a one terabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM. It has a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M, so it's, it's a decent graphics card. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Uh, it has two gigabytes of GDDR5 in it. And it has the dual layer burner, so no Blu-ray or anything. It has the SD card reader. Uh, it has a gigabit Ethernet and um, 802.11ac wireless and Bluetooth 4.0. It has a 17.3 inch screen. And this thing is heavy. It is 8.4 pounds. Like, it's a heavy computer. You do not want to be lugging this around all day. Like, if you're going to school or something, don't get this computer because it's heavy and you don't want to be carrying it around. It's a pretty bulky computer. It's really big, takes up a lot of space. Um, the power brick alone is huge. So that's your power brick for plugging it in. It's massive and it says ASUS on it. It's pretty cool. Right. Let's open it up here. Uh, and you can see, you'll see the keyboard lights up and there it goes. So that's super handy in the dark trying to use it, that light up keyboard. Um, the webcam, it's 720p, the quality is nothing spectacular, but it does have a uh, stereo microphone. It has two microphones up there. So for Skype and whatnot, it does perform really well. I find the display quality is really nice. The, the picture is nice. The color reproduction is really good. Overall, the display is awesome. So for gaming performance, uh, it handles games really well. Uh, GTA 5 on here, on everything about high settings. Not very high, but high settings, because it's only got that two gigabytes of uh, GDDR5 in the video card. So on high settings, I get a steady 45 FPS, which is really good for a GTA 5. It's very graphic intensive. Uh, Resident Evil 7 runs on there just fine, and Modern Warfare Remastered, you know, all the new games, it handles it all. Some games, you know, brand new AAA like Battlefield 1, you might have to uh, turn the graphics a little bit lower, but for a laptop, it does really good, and it is a few years old, it is a newer model of this, it has the 980M, I think. Uh, I think it's got 32 gigs of RAM, it's got the SSD and stuff, so if you are Thinking about picking up one of these, definitely go with the newer model, obviously. <laughs> uh, the touchpad's got some cool features, you know, you use two fingers, scroll down, uh, you double tap with two things, you bring up search with three fingers, uh, you swipe up for, I think swiping up with three fingers does something. 
Uh, if you have multiple desktops open, you could switch between your desktops. So it's got some cool gestures that you can do. The keyboard has a ROG key and that brings up the ASUS Splendid and stuff. And you can tweak some settings, but I don't think that's really necessary to have that there. Uh, it's got three macro keys up here, which is awesome. Uh, it has a Steam key, so you pop, click that, it starts loading up Steam. Um, a dedicated video recording button, and that uses the uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play. So I get the Steam key, and it just loads up Steam for me. And uh, it's got the dedicated video capture button, and then you need to support the game because it uses the NVIDIA, NVIDIA Shadow Play. And that lights up red when you're recording, which I think is awesome. So you just got that thing on the keyboard there that shows you're recording. You don't need to have an overlay on your screen that shows you're recording. So this thing has really good speakers in it. Uh, it's got a little subwoofer on the bottom. You can see it there. It's a down firing sub. It's, it's not like, when you hear subwoofer, don't expect like thundering bass, but for a laptop, it has really good sound. Let me see if I can just, let's do some GTA video. So it does have really, really good sound. You can feel the sub over here. So for, for a laptop, it goes surprisingly loud. When I cranked this thing up, I was like, wow, that is awesome. So if you're thinking about picking up the uh, one of the Asus ROG lines, I definitely recommend it. They are really good laptops. And this is one of the older models that came with uh, Windows 8.1 and only um, the GTX 860. So it is an older model and no SSDs or anything fancy like that and it still performs really well. So overall, it's an awesome laptop and I would definitely recommend picking up one of these lines, the Asus G751, not necessarily the JM model, so they have a newer version of this one and the back vents have red accents, so it's a lot nicer. This was my very first uh, computer laptop review, so uh, give it a thumbs up. Any comments be super helpful, any feedback is awesome. Uh, I try to reply to every single comment. If you guys got any questions about this computer, then fire away and I'll for sure answer any questions. Um, so yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.